Hey everyone, Nicole here. Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, I'll be listing down some of my what I like about social media and what I don't like about social media. So we are all aware that our lives revolve around social media and it has shaped our lives in a way. This video will focus on my experience and what I think about when I use my social media accounts. The first thing that I like about social media is its advancement. The communication and connection we share are made effortless by social media. With just one tap, you can connect to the world and it has given you a chance to communicate with everyone who isn't around. Imagine, if there's no social media, it will be hard for us to communicate to each other. Second one is, it gives you a platform to present yourself and be more confident by sharing your content to the public. Even a like or a comment by someone who appreciates what you post or what you do can simply boost your confidence because someone believes in you and thinks that you are capable of doing things that are worth sharing online. I remember when I was a child, I usually post nonsense stuff on Facebook and Twitter. And every time I get a like or a comment, I will mention them on the comment box and I will just say thank you. Thank you for liking my post. By posting something online, you are getting something in return. I felt like I need to post something every day because someone is liking my post, someone is interacting in my post, so I need to continue doing this. The third one would be, it's a great platform to explore and discover new things like new places to go, new activities to try, um, promoting new openings, businesses, and even promos and discounts we should try and check out. Like in my experience, I use social media to promote my small business. I mean, without social media, I will not be able to get clients for my business and it will be hard for me to promote and show everyone that I'm selling hand-painted nails. And we are seeing um, brands and small businesses using social media to promote and present their products to their followers. The next one would be social media as an alternative platform for learning. Others call it an extended classroom. And the idea of an extended classroom is simple, but it helps us to be reminded of the deadline and the activities that we need to pass. Now that we are facing the pandemic, social media played a vast role in online learning. Everything was easy with the presence of social media. We were able to pass the information instantly and it eased our burdens and difficulties. The last one, I like using social media because I can see that it empowers people to express their grievances to voice out their opinions and it gives us hope that there are still who are willing to fight for what is true and what is right and we also use social media to raise campaigns, donation drives, um, community pantry initiatives and other things to make or to help other people and the community. I also believe that social media can unite us and that we are compassionate to one another. And this is a tool that we need to use for the betterment of our society. Now let's list down all the things I don't like about social media. First on the list, the influencers. These social media influencers, Instagram models, brand ambassadors are claiming that they are influencing the women and the youth. These so-called influencers are showing their lifestyles, shopping hauls, um, expensive products that they own, their house, and even their fitness goals. Many teenagers are exposed to social media. 
and it will affect the way they think and see themselves once they compare themselves to these so-called influencers. They are influencing people to be envious, to be insecure, to believe that they need to change, to think that these influencers are perfect so they need to be perfect as well just for the approval of other people that's why social media is toxic because what we see most of the time is not always the truth we tend to believe everything that we see we believe that the likes and interactions on our posts will define how beautiful and amazing we are we seek validation and acceptance the next one is the cancel culture and this is the most controversial i am so exposed on twitter that's why i often see a community canceling someone a brand or even boycotting i don't understand why we need to cancel someone just because his beliefs and opinions are different from the rest of us we live in a democratic country and it is inevitable to have contrasting insight about something. We need to respect each other's ideas and perceptions. The third one is social media taught us how to be hateful. With everyone given a platform to share and express their opinions about someone and something, we are also given a platform and a space to be spiteful. This issue is no joke. I remember having to deal with my anxiety and my insecurities just because someone mocked me for having small boobs. I remember the time I felt the need to rest from all of my social media accounts just because I can't accept it. And I just can't stop thinking about that up until today. My mental health deteriorated and I am gaining my self-confidence back now. I don't get why they felt the need to comment about my physical appearance just because it makes them feel good and satisfied. If I don't fit their standards, it's not my problem anymore. Having imperfections and having small boobs are normal. I'm starting to accept myself now and the problem is not me. It's their mindset. The next one is, social media invades your privacy. You are not secured when you are using social media. And the chances of getting your information leaked is very high. We are highly dependent on social media that we are already living in this space. So that's why we need to use VPN to protect our um, information and our accounts. But even if I use VPN, I am still extra careful when I use the internet. The last one is social media consumes most of our time that we reduce the time for our family. The family will always be there for us when we need them the most. But because of social media, we disregard them and only focus on what's happening in the screen. This case is the reason why relationships between family members are getting awkward. We need to understand that social media is made to be addictive and we need to be responsible for what we say, do, and share online. Social media can have its positive impact on our personalities, but it can also create fatality when abused. Social media is a place where I feel so vulnerable, and I began to limit myself using social media as much as possible and focus on what's more important to do than scroll and waste my time on social media. And for me, it was a good idea and it helped me social media is like an art it can make or break us but that doesn't mean that we need to change ourselves just for the approval of other people we need to be responsible we need to be a responsible user of social media and we need to respect one another to have a healthy environment that's it for this um, vlog. I hope um, we are 
being responsible when we are using social media and we are being extra careful on sharing our thoughts and opinions online so see you on the next video guys thank you for watching